steel. If you notice in the top, there are gouge marks. Someone has picked that off. They pried that off of another machine. You can see by the gouge marks. Now, you also notice it's, it slants to the right. And then, so this is picking up your pin. This is where the card reader is. It's slanting to the left. So neither one are perfectly straight. There's also blue residue. If you get to a machine, and this is the only machine that you have the uh, use of, I would walk away from this machine. It's been tampered with, something is not right. The engineers who make these machines, they are never going to put something that's cockeyed. It's going to all be perfect. It's all going to be steel. There's not going to be blue residue. It's going to match. If you get that kind of machine, I wouldn't use it. Have these mirrors. If they are stuck inside, those are the safer ones because you can't manipulate them. You can't put your fingers in them and try to pull them out. Now, what's interesting about these two mirrors, they're actually car mirrors. And they were just stuck on an ATM to make someone feel safe. Oh, look at that. They have mirrors. My guess is any normal bank would never use a car mirror stuck on with double sided tape. Um, and what's scary is right here, there is a, a little pinhole trying to take a picture of your pin pad. And you can't see it on this picture because it's darkened, but on the bottom right of that, there's another pinhole. So when you go up to use an ATM, you might want to take 15 seconds and kind of really look at everything around you. Look at the colors. See if everything's straight. Look at the mirrors, if there are mirrors. Really look at things. Touch them. If, if there are any movable parts, you might not want to use that bank. Um, if it's after hours, call your local police department. They can come and inspect. Um, it's just things like that will keep you a little bit more, you'll, you'll see a red flag if it's there.